Okay, so super cool palm aside, I am going to be, I don't know if I'm gonna get started on this today, but uh, I'm gonna try to do some of it. I'm going to be planting um, up front and I'm also going to be transplanting a few things. So here's a few of my seedlings. This is the Florence, it's dripping water. This is the Florence um, fennel. <laughs> it's the Florence fennel. And I also have the bronze fennel. And I have my amaranth that I'm gonna plant up front as well. Um, last year I just left it, I didn't pot them up and I just planted them out in these little small plugs and that worked out fine and I think I'm gonna do it again. Um, I'm also going to be planting some of my morning glory. This is, I have blue, both blue and purple here. It's kind of funny, you can tell the purple ones from the blue ones because the purple one has this purple veining in the leaves. I don't know if you can see, it's not really focusing on it. Yeah, there, the purple veining in the leaves so you can tell which one's which. Um, I also have some Datura, I think I'm saying that right, um, which I'm really excited about. I kind of didn't water it once, so it's got a little, got a little fizzled. But um, yeah, I'm gonna be planting this somewhere. These are all gonna go up front. Um, and then I will plant my one leftover Mexican honeysuckle that I didn't manage to squeeze into my side yard. I'll plant this somewhere up front as well. Um, uh, those other petunias, or no, petunias, um, begonias, those are going to go in this back bed over here. Uh, I'm really excited about those. They're really beautiful. Uh, my mint is coming back from last year, so I think I'm just going to do some chocolate mint and um, spearmint on the other side since I did. This is mint and spearmint. I mainly use spearmint in most of my cooking and um, cocktails, but I thought it'd be fun to have some chocolate mint this year too, so I'm going to plant that on the other side since it just does so well. Um, I think for those planters on either side of my pergola, I think what I decided to do um, is I'm going to put the two olive trees in there and then I'm going to put the um, the prostrate rosemary or the creeping rosemary in there and I'm going to put some kind of filler in there too. Sorry. So I'm going to put the um, creeping rosemary in there and I'm going to put some kind of filler. I haven't decided what yet. It might be one of my, it might be a petunia. In, well, yeah, it might be a petunia that I grew from seed, or it may be um, uh, uh, begonia. I haven't decided yet. Or it may be something non-flowering. Yeah, because that's kind of, I may, I may do caladiums. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. If I find caladiums, so I'm going to do the two olive trees, caladiums, and the rosemary spilling over the side. And I think that's going to be really beautiful and very, like, kind of Tuscan-esque, minus the the caladiums are not very Tuscany, but that's what I'm planning on doing with that. And so let me show you also the plants that I'm going to be transplanting. I am going to be transplanting this to up front. Um, this is a uh, Artemisia. Um, so that needs to get transplanted. Probably these um, day lilies will get transplanted out to the property garden just because um, I'll leave them here probably for another year because these plants obviously are still babies, but at some point they're going to get too much shade to bloom. Let me see, there's one more transplant that I need to do. And the last thing I need to transplant is this weeping red bud. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I think I wanna put it out front. It doesn't quite get quite enough sun or rain here because it's kind of under a tree and it's protected by the eaves. So I just like to put it somewhere where it gets a little more attention because it is very beautiful. And I also need to, I need to straighten it out. It's like leaning very heavily. So I need to figure out where I'm going to, if, if I, I'd put it up against our house, but, um, because it doesn't get very tall, it could definitely go under the eaves of like, you know, a taller house, like it's going to do fine here, but it's still so, um, we're, you know, we may do stuff to our house. So I just don't want to, I don't want to plant, um, big things up against the house right now because, you know, we may have to transplant them again and I don't want to transplant this twice so I have to figure out where up front or in the back that I want to put this so but it is going to get transplanted here gonna do it
Okay, so that's it for today's video. Um, the weather is gorgeous outside right now. We did just have a little bit of a cold snap and I put um, a little uh, just pots over um, my little seedlings that I planted with a little rock on top and they all did just fine. Um, so anyhow, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and that you're able to, you know, get out in this gorgeous weather and do some planting because it's beautiful. Um, I was just at the garden store, uh, a nursery store here recently with, just this morning actually, with my friend Liz and we did a lot of plant shopping and it was, it was really fun. Um, just so fun to be out and like the, the stores are all filled with people buying plants and it's just this, spring is just such a wonderful time. It's just like everyone's so excited to get out and there's just this, you see this color everywhere when you walk into the stores and it's just really beautiful and, um, really fun to be outside um, right now. So anyhow, I hope you're able to go uh, do some planting this week and enjoy the nice weather. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.